Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Saturday, March 26, 2016. This morning we are in the Snake Mountain Boat Works paint room. This room is approximately 14 feet wide, 26 feet long, and the ceiling is 9 feet high. One of the issues we've encountered, and particularly, particularly in the winter, is the presence of static electricity which causes dirt to settle in every varnish job we do. Now we can get around this in a sense by buffing as we have and we have several videos up uh, over the years on our buffing techniques and the results therefrom. But we do have some customers who prefer the just varnished look. It's a, it's a different shine. So this winter, when we had uh, a particular issue keeping the humidity up in here, our challenges around static electricity mounted to the point where we were all really, really frustrated. Uh, we just could not, have not been able to keep dust out of our, out of our varnish. RJ actually was online seeing what he could find one day and he came up with this company that sells static paint or anti-static paint. They have come up with a product that when applied at a 10 to 12 mil thickness completely eradicates the issues around uh, the occurrence of static electricity. The process begins with this surface resistance meter. And let's take a break from the table for a second. I will do a series of tests and share those with you as I do them. It's this meter that tells us whether or not we do indeed have issues that can be dealt with uh, using the static paint. So now we've placed the, uh, the meter on the floor, sort of in the center of the room, uh, and per the instructions, we hold the meter firmly against the ground. Let's turn it this way so you can see. And what we're hoping for is a green reading, but in a situation where static electricity can be an issue, about 98% of the time, you'll get a red reading, as we have right well, here. As you can see, we have a problem. Uh, the meter returns an insulative red reading. It's interesting, red means, you know, danger, stop. This is not a good situation. Uh, wherever I do the test on the floor, wherever I do the test on the walls, and even on the ceiling, now we had attempted uh, to apply one solution that uh, we found on the internet some time ago, which was to paint the walls and the ceilings with a, a semi-gloss latex paint. Well, we did that, and it, other than having a, a nice sheen on the walls and ceiling, uh, we also still had the static electricity. So in conversation with the, the folks at uh, Anti-Static Paint, and I will include all the contact information on the, uh, the write-up to this video. Uh, we finally decided to, to do a test. And the test will involve applying two coats of this water-based silk uh, gray static dissipative paint to every surface in here. Not the lights, obviously, but the ceilings, the walls, and the floor will all receive two coats uh, our goal is a 10 to 15 mil uh, wet film thickness. We will then come back to you and share the results. I'll have my meter and let's see if in fact any static paint actually cor corrected the situation. Additionally, the folks at, at its anti-static paint have provided me with this plate called the Groundhog that uh, 
is a grounding plate. We will glue it to the floor, plug it into the wall, and this prop promises to create a, a, a static dissipative environment over 5,000 square feet. Now, all we want is this room to be static free. So we're, we are quite excited. Um, we are ready with our tools, uh, 3 8 snap rollers, paint tray, brush. Uh, now I will, I'll start by uh, putting the, the gallon can in our, in our shaker and shake it up well and start at the top and, and work down. I'll do the floor last because I've got a lot of scraping to do here and uh, the, the cure period between coats is eight hours so I would rather work on the walls and the ceilings, ceiling and get those things done and then we will attack the floor uh, and we'll make sure the paint is at least dry to the touch before we start scraping because we certainly don't want to deposit any of this old failed paint uh, on our walls or our ceiling. So that's where we are today, waging war against static electricity and having high hopes for static paint, a product of anti-static industries. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.